The Senate has expressed concern that Isiolo International Airport remains idle despite the government having pumped 2.7 billion shillings to upgrade it. Now the airport has handled only 70 flights this year. The lawmakers also say security at Lodwa Airport is heavily compromised despite the facility handling 10 flights daily. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Masharia said the government plans to install CCTV cameras at the two airports by August. Isiolo International Airport was opened in July 2017 and was billed as a game changer for the economies of northern Kenya including Isiolo, Meru, Marsabit and Laikipia counties. However, the facility has remained idle, only used occasionally by small chartered aircraft. Isiolo International Airport has failed to attract operations of scheduled passenger or cargo flights due to lack of a control tower. The 1.4 kilometer runway is also too short and there are no landing lights. Despite Lodo Airport handling 10 flights daily with 400 passengers crossing through its gates, the airport security is heavily compromised. Lodo Airport earns the government 96 million shillings annually. We don't have an adequate runway. Security around the airport in Lodua is heavily compromised. The policemen who man that airport and they were present when we were there only operate on day shift. An airport that is handling 400 passengers a day, 10 flights a day, has no fire engine. That's lots of Kenyans, and uh, they should be secure. The lawmakers accused the National Land Commission of frustrating and delaying to compensate people whose land was compulsorily acquired for the construction of the standard gauge railway. The only thing we demand is justice, give us our compensation. They victimized us, they intimidated us. This and compared this to the state of emergency when there was a breakdown of law and order. I want to um, apologize to the old man. It's unfortunate, but uh, it's also unfortunate that his property appears to be among the ones which are being uh, very far. If you are talking about the disenfranchisement of that man of that age, with, with his family, with, with his dependents, then we are talking about a grave situation. The CS and his legal department should be very keen on this. Someone might rush to court and challenge based on for Article 40 on the right to prompt and full compensation. The committee will visit Kajado County next week Wednesday to assess the impact of environmental pollution 